What's up guys, my name's Sharpie and we're gonna get unlimited diamonds in Minecraft. Let's do it. So the way we're gonna do that is using the all the mod six mod pack, we're gonna use bees to do the work for us. And I'm gonna show you exactly how I did it. I haven't done it yet, so we're gonna have to finish it, but this is how I did it. First off, I went to the nether and I found myself a magma bee. This is essential. You need a magma bee. Magma bees are in the nether. That's where I went to find it. I also needed a spooky bee, which there are plenty around the overworld that you can find. Uh, they're pretty easy to find. And you need to breed them together to make a blazing bee. Now this was the hardest thing for me to do because you need to get an item to use for them to be able to breed. So for the magma bee, it was five molten cores. For the spooky bee, it was five skeleton uh, rib bones, which are kind of kind of rare drops, um, and we're going to need to get more of these today because the blazing bee, which we have one of, breeds with a lumber bee to create a coal bee. Okay, coal bee. We need the coal bee because the coal bee breeds with the obsidian bee. Are you, are you following? It breeds with the obsidian bee to create a diamond bee, and that is when we will get our unlimited diamonds. But there is another step, another step. I know you're thinking, what the heck, another step? Are you serious? To create the obsidian bee, I had to find a water bee, which was not too hard, but a little bit difficult because we had to find it on a river. And I had to I had to go, I had to find a lava bee as well, which spawned. Did we find the lava bee? So we found a lava bee as well. Okay, there's two bees you need to find from the nether. The magma bee and the lava bee. Their requirements, you need a water bee, you need a spooky bee, and that will get you started. So as I said, I've already gotten the water bee and the lava bee to breed, and they made an obsidian bee, which we have. We have an obsidian bee. All we need to do now is get the coal bee. So I have lumber bees. They're also another pretty easy to find a bee. So the what I need to do right now is go to the nether, farm some blazers, get five of these drops, and then come back and try to breed these guys. So, we're off to the nether. I have a waystone here right next to a fortress. Where is the fortress? There it is. Blaze spawners are present. Very spooky. Oh, hello. Oh, we just got one. This is what we need. We, that's a that's pretty rare. About to happen straight away. I also want to get my fire resistance with my Oreo. But here's where I usually hang out. There's a uh, spawner right here. So I'll be here for the next, I don't know, 10 minutes. But I'll come back when I've got five of these bad boys. And then we'll try to breed them. And hopefully it works. Because it's only a 60% chance to breed. Uh, and mutate into the into the bee that you want. So I'll be back. Wish me luck. Amazingly, it only took me about a couple minutes. Like, we got really lucky then, I think. Um, I've got five cores, so we're going to go grab the bees that we need. And we're going to try and breed them into a coal bee. So we needed... We needed my blazing bee. And my obsidian bee. Is that correct? Am I tripping out? Let's just confirm. No, we want to make you... Oh, blazing bee, lumber. Lumber, lumber, lumber. Of course. So I've, I've spent a lot of time collecting bees, let's just say. The beautiful thing about this is, this is all the mod six. A very, could be a very technical pack or a, you know, a very magical pack. You can like grow diamonds, I'm sure, with magical plants and like do like crazy mining things. But we have like no machines, really. We have one Tinker's Smeltery, which is uh, which have been pretty fun to use. And basically, I've just been going into bees and like collecting some stuff, trying to stay organized as I play. It's been really fun. But I never got so lucky on stream trying to get these molten cores. But let's see if we can get them to breed. The lumber bee takes logs, so let's get in here. This is a little breeding room. Let's give it to them. Hopefully, it doesn't kill... The blazing bee like sets itself on fire. It's kind of crazy. I don't know what's going on. All right, let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Yep, primed. Wait, is this? Oh, it's not fully grown. 
So we'll have to wait for that. I'm a fool. We'll have to wait for it to be fully grown. I'll be back in 600 seconds. All right. Are you growing? There you go. Let's go ahead. Give you five. And let's hope for the best. All right, you're good to go. What about you? One, two, three, four, five. Sixty percent chance, please. Oh, <gasps> let's go! We got it, Colby. Last time that took me three attempts. We got it on our first attempt this time, Colby. Now the Colby just has to grow up. That's going to take a little bit. Maybe there's a way we can speed it up. I'm not actually sure. But then, after that, it's just a matter of breeding the obsidian bee with five obsidian. The coal bee with five blocks of coal. Get our 60% chance in getting our diamond bee. Unlimited diamonds. In this instance, the coal bee's flower is a block of coal. I've gone and crafted some. And it reduces by a minute every time I give it to them. So, let's not run out of coal. For the sake of uh, the video, I'll use all that up. It's going to need six more, uh, five more blocks to be able to breed. So, we'll make that. We're actually running low on coal. That's all the coal I have in the world. So, we'll keep that. I'm going to go get the obsidian bee and get, and get some obsidian and get ready to hopefully... Hopefully, get that 60% chance at a, a diamond V. Uh, just a quick uh, little disclaimer, if you're playing. Uh, if you leave the bees out, so I've left bees in the breeding, that little breeding pen. And I think I left, I went to the nether maybe, and I came back, and they were actually gone. So they can despawn. They typically, these guys have never despawned. I think it's because they have a nest, and they keep going into it. I'm not really sure how it works. Also, it could be because that part is um, not claimed. So maybe I should claim it on the map. Claim all that as well. I don't know how to set it to force load though. Oh, shift click. Shift click and it'll force load. Um, I'm going to go ahead and force load everything right now. And that should keep it loaded for us. I'm glad I did that. All right, so I got my obsidian bee. I got my obsidian, got my block of coal. And I should have a fully grown coal bee right here. This is it. This is actually exciting. I'm super excited for this. All right. One, two, three, four, five. Obsidian. The obsidian bee is still a kid. All right, obsidian bee just grew up. Let's try that again. Not waste another five blocks of coal, please. All right, that only took one. Awesome. Five blocks of obsidian. Let's go. 60% chance. Diamond B. Please, let's go. Please. All right, another 300 seconds for a, a breeding cooldown. Okay, the cooldown is done. Let's give it another shot. Our last shot. Please, 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 please. 60%. Go for it. Oh, <gasps> yes, our diamond B. Incredible. That is how you get a diamond B, folks. Now, we're going to wait a thousand seconds for our uh, B to mature. And then I can get a hive set up. We'll set up a hive and, uh, yeah, get a diamond block for them to use as a flower. And then I'll, sh I'll show you how we're going to get the diamonds. And just a quick side note as well. If you want to know how to make a tier 1 beehive, it's just grass uh, around any of the bee nests that you find out in the wild. And that is for my new diamond bee enclosure that I've just thrown up over here at the corner. We're going to go ahead, pop the nest down. The only thing missing is the bee and the bee's flower, AKA a diamond block. Oh my God, I can't believe I did it. Let's go ahead, pop him in here. Go straight away into the nest. Awesome, awesome. 
Now we just have enough diamonds. So you, to make unlimited diamonds, you're actually going to need at least nine. So we have this one. Unfortunately, I have to take it off because we only have eight here. And we need a diamond block. So we'll pop it back once we get more diamonds. There's our diamond block, which acts as the bee's flower to create the nectar to create diamond honeycomb, which we can then process and get diamonds as a side product. There we go. So honey level zero right now. Hopefully this guy decides to get some honey from the uh, nectar from the diamond block. Who knows how it works, but yeah, is this it? They do a little spit on the top. There you go. That's, that's the process. That's the process. And then we'll take it into there to honey level one, hopefully. I wonder if it takes a long time for like diamond. In the meantime, I might harvest. Oh, he went in. Honey level zero. Still zero. In the meantime, I'm going to uh, collect these beehives. Harvest these beehives. So to do that, we need our smoker and our scraper to do it without angering the bees. If you anger a bee... You can't undo that, and it's it's game over for the bee. So, I like to be very thorough. Honey level is now one. There is a diamond honeycomb in there. I'm going to let the beehive fill up. I'm going to let this guy do, its, do his work. And we'll be back, and then hopefully get our first diamond harvested from it. It's time. The hive is full. Honey level five. Smoke it. Smoke time. Correct. We're smoking. Let's harvest the diamond honeycomb. There we go. Five diamond honeycomb. Let's see if we can't get hit. diamonds out of this. I think we get diamonds. I'm not. I can't be 100% sure. So mechanical centrifuge. Chuck it in. Glass bottles. Shift right click. Open hand. Let's process it. One more. That's it. Three diamond ore. It's just that easy. And that gives us diamond ore. We can use fortune on that. We can also... Oh, that's really cool. Okay, so it looks like when we use the centrifuge, ours is mechanical, 25% chance to make honey, 50% chance. Oh, it's a 50% chance to make a diamond ore. 1% chance to make two diamonds. So if you're lucky, you get two diamonds out of it. Very, very cool. So that, my friends, is how you get unlimited diamonds in Minecraft or the Mod 6 using bees. If you made it this far into the video, thank you very much, first of all. Consider liking and subscribing. I'd appreciate it. And join me live on Twitch where I'm excited to get more of these bees done. I want to I wanna get, you know, lots of coal bees, iron bees, gold, all the metals. Diamond is the furthest I've ever gotten, so I'm excited to see what else we can do from here. I'll make more videos on, this, on the subjects, but I've had a lot of fun. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.